Astros on the faceoff. And the game is over. The series is over. Nashville's won the Stanley Cup. Do you believe the celebration going on? So many ups and downs over the course of the long season. You always hope that at the end of the day that you'll be able to celebrate as champions. These guys have just realized that. The teams are exhausted as they line up for one of the oldest traditions in our sport the handshake at the end of the series. You don't always like the player that you're shaking hands with, but you have respect for the series that you've just played. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. There's always a little bit of an odd feeling when the Conn Smythe Trophy is handed out because it's an individual award when everybody is here to see the best trophy in sports presented, and that will come next. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. I remember as a kid watching Johnny Busick, the captain of the Boston Bruins, hold the Stanley Cup above his head. I thought it would be the coolest thing to do. Look how proud and happy the captain is here tonight. I can't even imagine how excited the players are waiting for their turn to take the Stanley Cup for a spin around the ice. There is a pecking order to this, mostly on seniority, but it's never really discussed. It just kind of happens. And the final event of any Stanley Cup celebration. What we see on the ice last is everyone gathered together for a very happy Stanley Cup 